In this video, we will discuss about uh, voltage follower, which is also known as a buffer or unity gain amplifier. So here we are using op amp as an uh, unity uh, gain amplifier. So what are the advantage of the unity gain amplifier is uh, high input impedance and low output impedance. So here we will see how um, so output voltage is uh, following the input. So because op amp is having very high R in, so the voltage at node B is same as no, voltage at node A. So VA, VB equal to VA which is equal to the V in. So as the node B is directly connected to the output, so V output equal to VB which is equal to the V in. Mm, thus the output voltage equals to the V in input voltage. So if V in increasing the output voltage is also increasing and if V in is decreasing the output voltage is also decreasing. Hence uh, uh, because of this it is known as voltage follower circuit or unity gain amplifier. Here the output is always following the input. So because of this it is known as voltage follower circuit. Advantage of voltage follower is high input impedance, low output impedance, output as output is following the input so this is also having advantage of uh, uh, zero phase shift so since the input impedance is very high so whenever uh, this uh, is connected to source that is transducer so that measures um, that you will give a very uh, low uh, uh, amplitude signal so it draws, draws negligible current therefore the source is not loaded so because of the high input impedance so this um, voltage follower eliminates the loading effect so what is loading effect if you see um, here the the source vs uh, which is having a source resistance of 200 kilo ohms so whenever uh, this is connected uh, to a measuring device which is having a resistance of uh, 2 kilo ohms if you see here so the v output equal to that is across the measuring device load rl by rl plus rs into um, rl plus rs into vs so finally we will get v naught equal to 2 kilo ohm by 2 kilo ohm plus 200 kilo ohms which is equal to 0 0.0099 vs so v naught is approximately equal to 0 0.0 one vs in this case we see the source is highly attenuated even though the mm, source is giving a vs the load at the load shed, that is measuring device is measuring it as a only 0 0.01 vs so the source is highly attenuated that is 1 by 100 times of uh, the vs so and this attenuation is known as loading effect so how to avoid loading effect if you connect an high input impedance device so loading effect can be eliminated so this uh, voltage follower which we have discussed is having a high input impedance device so this is connected between the source and the load so here if you see so the source vs which is having a source ratio 200 lumps is connected to the voltage follower so here uh, this is having very high input impedance uh, so VA the voltage at node A uh, that the inverting input equal to um, RI by RI plus 200 km into VS as RI of the uh, um, op amp is very high so you under of mega ohms so the 200 km can be neglected so the VA is uh, equal to the VS so as it is a voltage follower the output V naught equal to VA so which is equal to Vs. So here we are getting the output voltage same as Vs. In earlier case if you see it is 1 by 100 of uh, Vs. So the source is highly uh, attenuated. So in order to avoid loading effect. So high input um, amplifiers like the voltage followers are connected between the source and the load. So by using this uh, voltage followers, uh, so the signal, especially the um, uh, transducers uh, signal which of order of microvolts and millivolts can be accurately measured. So thank you for watching my video.